Hello and a warm welcome to everyone. So in this uh, lecture, I will uh, teach you how to draw a microscopic diagram of iron deficiency anemia. And uh, this is a very, very important topic for the exam. So whenever any question of IDA comes, then you have to supplement it with a microscopic diagram. And it is quite easy to draw once you understand the uh, few important concepts of IDA. So um, before drawing, uh, we should know that whenever if we draw a peripheral blood smear, we have to draw a small lymphocyte in that smear. Why? Because the size of the uh, size of RBC, which is 7.2 to 8 microns, it's it is equal. It is almost equal to the uh, size of the nucleus of small lymphocyte. So for a reference point of view, we have to draw a small lymphocyte in the smear, and and uh, the size of the normocytic uh, RBC will be equal to the nucleus of small lymphocyte. The small lymphocyte, it is usually of the size of 8 to 10 microns and the nucleus is of the size of RBC. Next, uh, if we, if this is a normocytic RBC and the second thing is the amount of hemoglobin present in the RBC. Normally, a cell is considered to be normochromic when the central pallor, it is less than one third of the diameter of the RBC. So, uh, Central pallor less than one third means normochromic, and if it is more than one third, then the cell becomes hypochromic. So hypochromic cells they are seen in iron deficiency anemia, microcytic hypochromic cells, and they are called microcytic when their size will be less than the normocytic RBC or less than the nucleus of the small lymphocyte. So these are the microcyte. In the next uh, lecture, I will cover the macrocytic anemia. There, the size of RBC will be more than the nucleus of the lymphocyte. So, that will be a macrocyte. So, always when we want to show that we are the size of um, RBC has decreased, we have to draw small lymphocyte in the peripheral blood smear. And uh, the RBC, it looks, it has a disc-shaped appearance. And when we see it from the side, it is biconcave. So, in the smears, usually, uh, the front side of the RBC comes, so it appears disc shaped or rounded. Then there are few RBC indices uh, which are uh, decreased in case of iron deficiency anemia. One is mean corpuscular volume, which is the volume of a single RBC. It is measured in femtoliters and it, its value is 82 to 96 femtoliters. And sometimes to learn, we just um, remember it as 82. 100 femtoliters. If, if it is less than 80 femtoliters, seen in microcytic anemia, it is a microcyte. If it is more than 100, then it is a macrocyte. Then MCH is the amount of hemoglobin that is present within a single RBC. Normal value is 27 to 33 picograms. So its uh, unit is picograms. And thirdly, mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration, it is the amount of hemoglobin. Uh, which is present in uh, 1 gram of packed RBCs. So, it is the percentage of uh, hemoglobin which is seen in, uh, which is measured in gram per deciliter or gram percent. So, percentage hemoglobin concentration which is present in RBC. So, all these three indices, they are decreased in IDA. And iron deficiency anemia, it is the most common nutritional anemia seen in, especially in the developing countries like ours. And the iron is required to synthesize the hemoglobin in the developing RBCs. So when it is deficient, then it uh, leads to the iron deficiency anemia. So in iron deficiency anemia, when we see, when we make the microscopic picture, we will make first of all a small lymphocyte. So a small lymphocyte, it is a rounded cell and having a round nucleus. And it has a, we will make a purplish color clumped chromatin and then scanty cytoplasm is there and uh, size is about uh, 8 to 10 microns then the normocytic normochromic rbc it will be of the size of the lymphocyte nucleus and the central pallor will be less than one third of the area of the rbc then we make the microcytic hypochromic cells so cells will be microcytic they will be smaller in size than the lymphocyte nucleus and the, in the center, they will the pallor will be more than one third. So this is a, these are the microcytic hypochromic cells. And in the later stages, when there is severe iron deficiency, then 
just a rim of cytoplasm is seen such a cell is known as ring or pessary cell so it has just a uh, rim of cytoplasm and all the they are center area it is showing the pallor then next cells which can be seen are pencil cells so in severe iron deficiency anemia we see pencil cells and sometimes they are also known as elliptocytes so they are elliptical and when they become more elliptical and of the shape of pencil then they are known as pencil cells and then lastly there are tear drop cells they can also be seen in iron deficiency anemia and because of this we say that in iron deficiency anemia there, there is uh, moderate to severe uh, and isopoikilocytosis so there is variation in the size of rbc and also in the shape of rbc so there is uh, severe and isopoikilocytosis which is seen in iron deficiency anemia now let's see how to draw the diagram so it is very simple uh, all the components that i have drawn earlier we, we will draw that so one is the small first we will draw the small lymphocyte because as a reference of the nucleus of small lymphocyte we will draw the rbcs so we draw the small lymphocyte the nucleus we color the uh, nuclear chromatin then the scanty cytoplasm after that we make one normocytic rbc so we can make few normocytes and after that we make the microcytes microcytic hypochromic cells and some ring cells or pessary cells so we make many microcytes then we draw the pencil cells few pencil cells then tear drop cells again microcytes so that is it then we label it so it's very simple we label the different cells like small lymphocyte first then these are the tear drop cells these are the microcytic hypochromic cells next the cells in which there is uh, increased central pallor and only a rim of cytoplasm is there which is ring cell or pessary cell next pencil cells then now lastly a normocytic cell so this is how we make then uh, this is the final diagram we can also make platelets so we just make as uh, magenta colored dots so just as dots we can make uh, the platelets scattered in the background the platelets their size is about 2 to 3 microns so they we can make and also in some case of iron deficiency anemia we see increased platelets thrombocytosis so we can make platelet clumps also so that is optional if you want to draw you can draw platelets in the background so this is how we uh, draw the diagram of uh, iron deficiency anemia so this is the peripheral blood smear and one special stain that we use to demonstrate the absence of iron stores in the bone marrow is the pearls persian blue stain so the pearls persian blue stain it will demonstrate the absence of iron in case of iron deficiency anemia so you should remember this stain very often asked in the viva so that was all about the diagram of iron deficiency anemia i hope uh, it is of some help to you and this is the diagram of iron deficiency anemia in the robin so you see these are the microcytes and you can see the central pallor it is more than one third and these are the, like the ring pessary cells and this is elliptocyte again uh, pencil cell or elliptocyte and there are uh, some cells they are having the tear drop appearance and here they have drawn a neutrophil this is a neutrophil in the peripheral smear and so the, uh, these are the things that we seen in the iron deficiency anemia this is a case where blood has been transfused so some rbcs which are fully hemoglobinized they are also seen so this is a diagram from robins for reference uh, so i hope uh, it is of some help and uh, the feedback is most welcome in the comment section and lastly i would like to thank you for the 2000 subscribers and uh, it feels like a big family now 
and feeling really humbled so thank you very much see you